Mm. Hi everyone, it's Andrea. And I'm here today with one of my book spotlights. This one isn't about the cinema. Um, other than books and the cinema, I'm collecting Marilyn Monroe books. One of my other hobbies, and if you know me, you'll know this quite well, is, is photography. I take a lot of pictures, I collect film cameras. Um, so on that note, if you would like to see a video of me showing you my camera collection, I do have a camera collection, um, let me know. I'll happily film one of those uh, in the next week or so if you want me to, just let me know. I'm going to do it anyway, so at some point. But. Um, so I'm going to show you one of my favourite photography books. <laughs> I have to excuse me, I'm not really with it today. Okay, so the book I'm going to show you today is called A Photographer Found. So it's Vivian Mayer, it's very big, A Photographer Found by John Maloof, text by Marvin Heiferman, edited by Howard Greenberg, and the foreword is by Laura Lipman. Now, the only, if you haven't heard of Vivian Mayer, you must have been living under a rock because Vivian Mayer has become one of the most famous posthumous photographers ever. She was born in 1926 in New York City and um, around 1950 uh, an aunt or grandmother died in France, her family were from France, and she went over to France with her mother to settle the estate, or she went over to France to settle the estate, not with her mother, she had been there with her mother previously, and she took with her a box brownie and started taking photographs. When she came back, she used some of the money that um, she had got from selling the estate to buy a camera. And the camera she bought was a, a, a Rolleiflex, German camera, brilliant um, engineering, which produces a square format photograph. Like, like that. Like this, this, this is square. So um, basically, um, back in... 1950-52 you had lots of different formats of photography of film so you had a 35 millimeter film but you also had 120 620 820 116 110 and then of course you had what we now term your large format <coughs> 10 by 8 4 by 5 and so on now out of those formats the only ones to really still survive are the large formats you can still get sheet film 35 millimeter and what is called 120, which is what the Royal Flex took. She took photographs from the 50s right up to the 90s. She died in 2009. Not long before that, um, she defaulted on payments on some storage units where she kept her life, basically. She was a pack rat. She was a hoarder. She kept everything. Um, several people went to auctions in around two, uh, 2006, 2007 and started buying up boxes of photographs and negatives. One of these was a man named John Maloof, a young man named John Maloof, who was writing a book about Chicago, which is where Vivian Mayer ended up living and ultimately dying. He could not find Vivian Mayer when he looked at these photographs, but he did start buying as many of her negatives and personal belongings as he could. He discovered that her, not all of her storage units had been sold off. Um, basically she was a nanny during the 50s, 60s, 70s and early 80s and she, one of the families, the Ginsburgs, they basically in her, her twilight years found her a place to live and they paid for the storage not all but some of her compartments and they were getting rid of it and John Maloof said no wait, wait, don't get rid of it I want it I want it can I come in? and he said well yeah but you, you can come but we're getting rid of it so you could come and take whatever you want so now one of the things he got was a I want to say almost like a record case that you keep you know that the DJs used to carry their vinyl in for the elms and in it he found this can you see that tons and tons of film now that's all 120 film but there was also a lot of 35 millimeter well there is 35 millimeter there 120 from the 70s on she tends to use the Leica so this book came out a few years ago it is a massive book <coughs> I have three books on Vivian Mayer there's this one um can't remember the other one and then there's self-portraits because she did do a lot of self-portraiture now 
For a woman who had no formal training, she trained herself. The photographs in this book are stunning. Here's one of her self-portraits. It's very hard for me to actually see whether or not you can see this because I have to, because the book is so big. My favourite picture is the one on the cover. I just think that's so telling of the time. And this book is basically filled with photographs she took of her charges, of people in the street. It's a brilliant one of this lady. Um, random objects in the street. Now, one of the interesting thing is, for a few months, she actually worked for Phil Donahue. And he said she would <coughs> take photographs of garbage cans. And, and he said, you know, they said Picasso was crazy. What do we know? I didn't, he said I didn't think it was crazy. She would just take photographs of anything that would interest her. And her composition is fantastic. And some of the pictures aren't particularly um, nice. You could say there is a picture, one of the pictures is of a dead horse. Um, here's another one of her self-portraits. And there's another one on the back. So this basically tells you the story of Vivian Mayer, her photographs, her life, as much as we know it because there's a lot of mystery, there's not a lot known about her life. She was very, very secretive. Um, to the point that she never married. And there is some wonder if whether or not she had been uh, abused or attacked or assaulted by a man at some point because she was quite afraid of them. So this is again some of the items that John Maloof obtained from her storage lockers. And in a way you kind of think is this, should this be done because this is prying into her life. She kept all this but she was quite a secretive person. But the way I think of it is if she was, if it was the tomb of a Egyptian pharaoh, we wouldn't be thinking anything of it, going through her personal effects. It's because she was a woman who lived fairly recently, only died in 2009. Um, but her photographs, and, and the way she did her self-portraits, is so clever. Reflected in mirrors, shadows, in um, windows, in glass in frames, picture frames. It's a, it's a lovely picture of a, a lady. And this book is totally jam-packed with <coughs> some of her best pictures. They're absolutely fantastic. She And she would zoom in on a specific image. So for instance, you've got this square colour photograph of this woman with her hands behind her back that nobody would think of taking. But Vivian Mayer saw something in that, in, in, you know, in that that image. She saw the world a way that most of us do not see. Here's one. Of, here's a rough collie. One of my favourite kinds of dogs. I do love rough collies. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> we have. My mum has a rough collie. Um. So if you are into photography, I would. I would definitely pick up this or uh, Lena Horne she, and she did fam famous people as well, this is Lena Horne. I would definitely advise to pick this up. It is a brilliant book. Now the US retail price on this, recommended price, is $80. I think it was around £30 or £32. I had it for a present for birthday or Christmas or something like that. So, but I absolutely love dropping into this this book and and looking at the various photographs that Maya took, whether they be colour or black and white. Most of these are the black and white ones. Um, there, like I said, there are some colour ones in there. Uh, like this one with yellow, lots of yellow in this image. Why why is there so much yellow? Why is everybody wearing yellow shorts and a yellow skirt? And 
the thing is with something like the Rolleiflex is it has a fixed focal length. It's not got a zoom lens. So to get these close-ups, she would have had to have been as close to I am as this camera to some of these people. And that takes a lot of guts. That takes a lot of guts. So if you are interested in photography and you're interested in street photography, which is mostly what Maya did, then this, this is for you. Um, definitely. I've learned this to a friend of mine. I introduced a friend of mine to Vivian Mayer and he now takes a lot of his photographs, although they're digital, in the same style as Vivian Mayer. He's usually reflected in glass, takes a lot of street photography and he absolutely loves Vivian Mayer. So, um, this is one of my book recommendations. If you, if you like your photography books, get it. So there you go, that's my book spotlight for this month. <laughs> or this week, there may be one next week, I don't know, and that's Vivian Mayer, uh, A Photographer Found by John Maloof. So that's all from me for now. I will be back soon. See you later, booktube!